you know, collectively, you're still going to have a lot of third party. Oh, I came third. Nice. Don't worry about that again. Um, I mean, can you imagine having a, a system where you could play the new Mario and Zelda, but then also be able to play the new Grand Theft Auto? Be amazing. You know, that's really what you have to think about. Because right now, you're thinking about Sony, and I love, and I have all three systems. Um, not to, like, try to sound like a bragger, I'm not trying to. But I'm just saying, like, when I see it, it's like, yeah, I like, I like Infamous, I like Uncharted. Xbox, I do like Gears of War, but they are not up there with Star Fox and Mario to me, or Diddy Kong Racing, even, even though that's more of a rare thing. Um, to, if I had to choose first party, it would be Nintendo, and if it had that third party support on par with its competitors, it would be almost like the one system solution you would want, you know? Right. Now, I would think about designing the next system having infrastructure very similar to the other guys, but, you know, if they want to do something different in terms of the controller, if they wanted to make it a semi-portable system you take to another friend's house, it's a portable slash home console, which is kind of like the rumors run the mill for the next right. system. You know, but power-wise, it has to have the, the basis to have third-party support, or at least any support, you know? Right. Any other support than Nintendo, because Nintendo could only make so many games a year. Um, themselves. Now, if you're talking about right now, um, I am now going to write the ship. I mean, the Wii U is doing better in terms of having some t quality titles coming out, and it's starting to drive sales for it, but it's nowhere near at the rate of its competitors. Um, you know, Nintendo kind of has the right idea when they had Platinum Games and they were producing some of those games. I mean, Bayonetta is not going to sell systems, but it's definitely one that keeps hardcore gamers and gets their attention and stuff. Like you know, another that. really good one is uh, Wonderful 101 from Platinum. Yeah, it fills it fills up your roster. So the best thing that Nintendo could really do is go to Namco, which they kind of did in a few cases. Go to Capcom, which Capcom might want money. Go to these companies and say, hey. We will let you make a Zelda. This is gonna sound almost atrocious, but let's face it, Capcom made Zelda games for the Game Boy that were awesome. Right. Namco made an all right Star Fox game. I think it's almost time that Nintendo, because it's hard to make all these franchises like Earthbound, so that maybe have that be financed by the companies, uh, produced by Nintendo, of course, and have it on Nintendo systems. Right. To fill in those gap, those time gaps, and then at the same time, you know, they have a little bit of bank. The best they could do really is to execute first party, um, and then maybe price-wise, another price cut. If that if they could do it, you know, right, um, might help them do sales. But to get third party support, it really is going to be hard. Unless they were to throw an insane amount of cash down to somebody and say, yeah, we want. <laughs> You know, we want you to port over this game day one, not day 365, but day one, we want you to port over this next Grand Theft Auto, which would be dreamy. Or, the, uh, I think it would be really cool on the gamepad. But, you know, but that, the Nintendo would have to throw money down. Yeah. Because it's not going to happen. Because th that game is going to be developed ground up for next-gen hardware. Yep. Um, not to do semantics, yeah, we use next-gen for Nintendo, but I'm just talking about in terms of power power. So Intel really would have to give money to say, we want you to actually, you know, try to downgrade these games to come on our system. Or maybe another expansion pack, that's in, that's in my 64. <laughs> 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 I could pop this one out, I could put it in my Wii U somehow. Yeah. Just tape it on with a little the duct tape. Pack. You know what's kind of funny, I have it in my N64 right now, the expansion pack, and it, I, I, I got it with Donkey Kong, and you couldn't play some games without it, Right. You and you also could do some perfect dark multiplayer without it either. Right. Without it having a lot of frame problems, frame issues, frame rate issues weren't an issue enough with that game. Um, but uh, it was cool to play Rogue Squadron with high res in the, uh, specs. Now, the expansion pack, though, to get back to what I was trying to say without jumping around, it only added four megabytes. Right. A video RAM to do that much difference. I mean, nowadays that would be nothing. Nothing. Because we're talking about gigabytes. We're talking about a thousand times that, you know? Right. Um, but it's kind of funny to think about that. That little red thing that's in my thing right now is a... This is so unforgiving. I was in first place the entire time. I hit into one dog, and I fell off the a edge. Child. 
Yeah, whatever we want to call them. And then I'm in eighth place. It's ridiculous. Uh, we did have iced coffee sitting in the chat room asking if it was battle mode time. Oh, and uh, so I guess after this Grand Prix, we will uh, get some battles. Uh, hell yeah. Oh wow, time's flying by. Okay, I need to motherfucking get in front of this guy right now. Get That's another one Nate added into the list. If I get in front of Luigi, we might pass this! Fuck! Oh wait, no, that was not the final lap, everybody. I'm That's <laughs> coming too soon. Now, third place, though. Free falling. <laughs> oh yeah, Top Pet, you're still here. What are you doing this whole time? Just free falling, man. Free falling. We're smoking that marijuana. <laughs> oh, nope. Music note. Uh-oh, the blue shell. How did you know? Uh, a little birdie. Told me? Oh, okay, just making sure you were on the camera kind of screen. I uh, wasn't, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you fell for a bane. That's right. Fuck you and your blue shell! It knocked my ass out of the arena. I was in the top three, Brian. Now we have to redo the stage. Well. There you go, there's your gift. Thank you. You're welcome. We get angry sometimes, or I get angry. <laughs> Kinda like I put you in it. We get angry. Okay, serious? Seriously? I was in the top three. Donkey Kong. Ain't staying for this shit any longer. Oh, A star is Burns. Which is actually my favorite Simpsons episode. Random. The one thing is, this is a long track, so I might be able to come back. Time to come back, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, ready in fourth place. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Donkey nice. Kong's coming. Nice job. Nice comeback. I know. I think I was like some place when I, I got knocked out by your blue shell. That's not vindictive at all. Yeah, it's, this track has taken us six minutes so far. Yeah, that's a long I think track. average is like three minutes. Oh, is... All these people just bunched up in front of me. Jerks. <laughs> Way to the bay. <sighs> wow, look at that difference. One second, you had 6.10, I had 6.11, I got sixth place. Well, One second was difference, all of yeah. that thing, you know? I don't think neither of us came first place. I think it was, uh, <sighs> I think it was a little punk toad. Basically, Tim won this. For everyone that doesn't know, Tim's like our fourth guy that does stuff for us. Mm. Oh, man. So I think it's time for battles. Yes. Um, but you know what? It's 7.30. Um, we like to throw down two games and have people vote on it over the week for what we play next week. Give me just a second. I, I, I'll reveal mine. How about that? Okay. I'll reveal mine, and then you got like 10 minutes or so, and you can reveal yours. Okay, sounds good. I think that might be what we'll do, because it's so it's already it's already late in our play here. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to propose a game, and this is The Underdog. This game, I don't know if many people know about this game, but it is a classic. It's one of my first introductions to a point-and-click adventure, even though it came out much later than your classical point-and-click adventures. It is a fun game. It has Cheech Marin and a lot of other good voice acting in it. It is Blazing Dragons. What type of game is it? It is a point-and-click adventure game. Point-and-click adventure. What would you connect it to? A, like a famous title that's also point-and-click. Uh, the new Telltale games? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's more new. You know, more recent. Uh, my brain's just kind of farty. I mean, like Manic Mansion, stuff like that, or Monkey Island. Oh, Maniac Mansion. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, it's not the same guys. It's not Lucas Arts, but it's kind of almost in that same genre, same vein. Um, and I will. It's funny. It's fun. It's colorful. Um, it'd be cool to bust out the Saturn for a change for a throwback. And uh, I think that would be a very fun game. So I will suggest to everybody maybe not watch videos to spoil yourself too much on it, but maybe read the Wikipedia page and get yourself acquainted with it if you don't know about it. Um, but it's it's funny. It uses the noggin. I kind of remember how to solve some of the puzzles. <laughs> That's what we'll find out too uh, if it gets elected. 
as our next Throwback Thursday game. Cool. So that's my choice. Brian, you'll think of yours. And that's on the Saturday, right? That's on the Saturday. Cool. Let's do some battles. Let's battle it up. Battle. Ooh. Select your player. Alright, so what game or what system? I love coffee says. So it's on the Sega Saturn and it's called Blazing Dragons. Blazing Dragons. Okay. So Block Ford I think was requested or you said it you just had to remember what it was that called. That was my fond memory, so All right. I, I think I hope you don't mind if we do uh, block fork first. Sounds good to me. If you might I want to get her ass ass and still play. <laughs> Hey, I'm Yoshi, and my name is James. I'm Mario, and my name is Brian. I like to say my name. Yeah, I used to like, um, I used to play this at my cousin's house and stuff like that. And we used to have these block, these forts, and we used to kind of like love to lay traps around these and hope someone's dumb enough to go into the fort. So it's almost like a more of a defensive game uh, mm -hmm. that we used to play on this. Now, I'm very impatient with my age, so I don't know if I would actually invest that much time just to set up a bunch of question marks right now, yeah. rather than try to get you directly, but it's it's definitely one of those memories. Uh, my fond gaming memories. Yes. And apparently Tom Petty likes to wash dishes. Good job, Tom Petty. Oh, I see what you've got there. No. No! Did it actually hit me? What the fudge? You know what? We, we did quite a few Throwback Thursdays. Uh, what was uh, one of the games you liked playing that you did? There's so many good ones. It's hard to say. I like when we played Donkey Kong. That was cool. No, I was going to school. I liked them all, actually. I don't think it was what I didn't. My favorite is probably Uniracers, though. Oh, yeah, that was, it was, was I, a lot of cool things I learned about that game. I actually liked that a lot. What was yeah. this? Look at this. Nice. I never knew this. Or I did, I forgot about it. No, you don't. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. This is where shit gets real. Here we go. <laughs> One balloon off you, so I can at least feel a little sense of pride. A little teensy bit of pride. Great hit, okay? You piece of crap. No! Oh, good. I know what you're trying to do. Like Green Chill Alley down here. Oh! Come here. Come here. You come here, Brian. You come here and you get hit. You piece of crap. <laughs> you got a rascally wabbit. It's so hard to hit you right now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No. Come here. Come here and get touched. No! No, don't touch me! I'm gonna touch you to Is that pedophile Pete? <laughs> pedophile Pete? You! No! Yay, you got hit at least! Yay! <laughs> I got I got a little bit of bra of pride of my pride back. <laughs> Almost forgot what it was. Oh, oh that's fun. Do you want to join uh, join us right now? We need good shout outs too? No new shout outs. Okay. Well, I see a, a number change here, so I just to say welcome to watching us at Throwback Thursday Throwdown. What well, course do you want to do, Brian? Winners choose. Winners? I thought we were doing a uh, person who didn't win chooses. Well, I already chose, I already chose Block for it. I feel kind of... Alright, um... Skyscraper. Okay. Okay. Right on.